Yes, I'm sure that um, that this this let's call it this issue of the Champions League has helped him because uh, I know that there are quite a number of countries who are in certain areas not really satisfied with the way UEFA works. So yeah, that was if I was it would have been in this situation I would have done exactly the same. No, I, I regret nothing. I mean, uh, we have had a pistol on our head, I can tell you that, by certain clubs. And one of the clubs uh, who, who have put that pistol on my head already sent me a very nice email that they are looking for a continuous cooperation. One minute, two minutes ago. So, let's put it this way. It has been, there has been enormous pressure on UEFA, because I tell you that the, 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 the breakaway league or the Super League was really a fact. The clubs have been talking to American investors three times. They have been promised $225 million per club. And I'm happy that I have been able, in the process, to talk this out of their mind. I talk, had private talks with uh, Rummenigge, and because of that, the threat of the Super League was from the table. Uh, there's lots of, lots of things to be done. As I say, I think the most thing is to give that leadership back to UEFA that clearly we've not had since uh, Michel Platini had to step down last year. We've, it's, it's functioned well, as you've heard today, in terms of the competition that's rung, the organisation, etc. But any big, big organisation which UEFA is needs, uh, needs a leader, needs a, needs a voice, and uh, I think he'll, he'll provide that. And we see, uh, we wish him well. I'm full confident in uh, Alexander Cheferin that I know very well. Uh, he's a young leader, even if he said that he's not a leader, but that was sort of fishing for compliments, or so to say and in Gianni Infantino. I think that many things have to be changed in terms of uh, moral, uh, uh, you know, way of living. Uh, less money for the executives, uh, more money for building facilities and restructuring the, the one deserving it. Uh, it has to be, I think, a little rebrand and reshape the world of football without corruption, without waste of money without uh, privileges which are not anymore in any case to be proposed to anyone uh, running such a wonderful world like football. Yeah.